Uh-oh. Looks like Destiny has been banned from Kick, ladies and gentlemen. We've seen this coming. This is as a result of him disrespecting the innocent firefighter who was killed during Trump's rally. You know the firefighter they said, fuck that firefighter? Yeah. This was to be expected, and he's been getting attacked left and right from people wanting to demonetize and deplatform this guy. Rightfully so. You know, isn't it funny that now that the cancel culture mob has become the right wingers, the left wing people suddenly want to yell free speech and, oh, you're canceling us after how many years of the woke cancel culture mob trying to cancel people for less than this? Destiny said some very disgusting comments, which we're going to recap that. This guy had no empathy, no remorse for the loss of human life just because he has so big of Trump derangement syndrome that he can't get past that. He even said that if his own parents got shot and killed at this, it was their fault. What a fucking lunatic. So he has been banned off of kick, which funny enough, it is so hilarious that he got banned from Kick, considering that it seems almost next to impossible to get banned from that site. Now, his ban is only temporarily. He's only being banned until the 31st of July. There's a piece of an email right here saying that he was banned for hate speech. Uh, so, yeah, that is wild to think somebody could get banned off of Kick for hate speech, considering how Wild West that whole entire website is with weird like <laughs> content creators that make suggestionable uh, content there. So you know it's pretty bad when you're getting banned off of a website that's literally the Wild West. <laughs> literally the Wild West. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at some of these reactions. We got Camelcast official, Camelot, shout-outs to Camel Camelot, saying, uh, oops, he edged too close to the moon. <laughs> Oh, gosh, Destiny's such a cuggy. You see Dr. Pika, shout-outs Dr. Pika saying, oops. Uh, Seven says, freedom of speech out the window. Well, here's the thing, right? These people for so long made fun of right-wingers, saying, oh, they cry about my speech, my speech. Well, guess what? The turntables have turned the other way around. It's hilarious to see these Wokies crying about them being censored in their free speech when for years, for years going on now, They've tried to censor people. They've tried to silence people if you're not in that woke echo chamber. Forgive me for laughing about people getting deplatformed, but this is long overdue, and it tastes so fucking sweet. I'm going the low route <laughs> between now and election time just because I'm tired of these pieces of shits making comments like Destiny did, which we're going to get to those in a minute just so you can remember and get a recap of how vile this human being is. You see, we are smoking on that Destiny pack. Exactly. Pack watch, baby. <laughs> Goyper curse hits hard. You know, that's a W. There's consequences. <laughs> he needs to be put in jail. Chat is Destiny cooked. Yeah, he's 110% cooked. So uh, we were going to make a video about this, but I'm just going to show you guys. He got absolutely cooked by Piers Morgan. He doubled down his hateful rhetoric. It's funny. If we speak out against DEI and LGBTQ and all that, we're hateful bigots. But if you say, fuck the firefighter that died protecting his children, the Wokies eat it up. They love it. They fucking love it. Piers Morgan absolutely obliterated. We'll take a little bit of a look at this. I wanted to cover this in full, but we might talk about this later. Yeah, but you, when you, you are, when you are destiny, in a world to you. where conservatives can say anything. No, I'm not a conservative. They can have any conspiracy theory. I'm not a conservative. They can have any plot. They can do any of these things. And then, and then liberals are supposed right, destiny, to sit here and be like, destiny, oh my no. God, it's so tragic. No, destiny, Absolutely not. Let me explain, Absolutely. Let me explain my position, because I'm not a conservative. I'm not, I'm not on either side in your race, right? Here's what I think about what you did. You'd like to fire off, as you've done so far in this debate, about your fury at how disgusting Republicans are, how inhumane they are, how they never have any empathy, blah, 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 blah. And then you yourself actually are exactly the, the person that you're describing. Exactly. In a fucking nutshell, that's how these Wokies act. Look how vile how much vitriol and venom they have when they talk. And if they don't like what you're saying, guys, it's a grift. It's a grift. And everybody that listens to you is fucking morons. He's getting wrung through the mud. 
This clip is phenomenal, but it's a five-minute clip that I would rather you guys go and check out yourselves because he gets his ass handed to him on national TV. And this was earlier tonight before this kick ban. I mean, just honestly, you could see <laughs> this banger right here described it. Fuck that firefighter, right? Corey Comparator, who was the fireman that lost his life at the rally, shielded his family. His daughter said he was the best dad a girl could ever ask for. He truly loved us enough to take a real bullet for us. So, yeah, listen to this. Okay. Uh, fuck Trump. Fuck the people that support him. I just want you to know, okay? Just it. fuck it. Fuck the dude, um, the firefighter guy. Uh, fuck Trump. Fuck the people that support him. I just want you to know, okay? Just in case you're confused or it seems like I'm, uh, you don't, whatever. If one of you were in the crowd and you're a conservative fan of mine and you end up, you know, getting blown away or whatever the fuck, I'm making fun of you the next day on Twitter. I am. What a piece of disgusting shit. Rightfully so, he's being attacked online. I just, I, this guy is probably the most vile human being I've seen on the internet. And he was doubling down on it again. He was on Piers Morgan. Uh, he's been being called out. He's been in the hot seat. This guy just doesn't get it. A typical woke little progressive son of a bitch who acts tough on the fucking internet. Says very hateful stuff. And, and you want to call us grifters. What's this? What is this? Destiny's literally grifting. But anyway, just to be clear, fuck you. Fuck the guy that got shot at the rally. This is why I don't give a fuck about there showing sympathy. This is why I don't give a, a fuck. This is why I don't give a fuck about the sympathy for any of you fucking losers because you won't own up Listen, to don't anything. Don't take it out on me because you your wife won't own up to anything. To Nobody is talking about all my right, access. All right, all right, all right. Everybody oh, calm down. God. Soy boy to the max. And you can see in the comment section, he's getting absolutely cooked again. Dr. Pika. I can't wait until Destiny truly hits rock bottom. He really, really will not like what he sees in him when he confronts everything that he's done in his life. He's gone off the rails. He needs to get off the internet for a few days. Destiny's a coward. I mean, look at this. <laughs> Fucking literally getting cucked back here in the back. Look. Mel time. Mel time. It's... It's oh, it's melt time. Oh, so you got the four. Okay. Right. So we're just doing salsa. We're just going. Yep. Fucking cock. Anyways, this guy's horrible and disgusting. Look, as we speak, he's trending right now. Let's look live action right here. <laughs> Destiny banned on kick for mocking a fallen firefighter. So yeah. Watch Piers Morgan personally bitch slap Destiny on air. <laughs> Fucking great. I just, I can't, I can't, can't get enough of this. It's great. So, Destiny. Fucking garbage human being. And again, if you don't remember, uh, even Elon Musk is targeting him after he was sent several tweets from Destiny's account saying, you are right, this is not appropriate content for advertisers, and suddenly he wants to hide behind the free speech. Oh, the free speech advocate himself has arrived. What happened to fuck advertisers, eh? Look. The problem with the Wokies is that they don't understand that free speech doesn't mean free of consequence. That's the difference. These guys want to try to witch hunt, pitchfork, cancel anybody that's not in their echo chamber. The grifters. The grifters. When it comes to them, they're, they're automatically crying like little fucking faggots. That's exactly what these guys do. And, you know, you just see all the crap that they've been posting. If I've offended anyone with my recent tweets, I'd like to make things right. DM me and I'll buy you front row seats to the next Trump rally. Literally wishing death, wishing what happened the other day on people in his audience or people on the Internet. Person in the crowd cheering for and supporting a traitor to this country caught astray. I'm so sad. Please. All I see is Biden up plus one in Pennsylvania. If you are genuinely supporting this just because you hate Trump, you are part of the fucking problem. Regardless of the current or former president is left or right wing, you should not want to be entertained or enjoy or wish death upon them or human life. That is scum bag. And I am so fucking glad all this is catching up to, uh, to Destiny at this point. It's a goddamn shame it's only until the 31st because it would make me more than happy if he was permanently banned. I mean, look at that like ratio. 25,000 likes, 1.7K retweets. 
just getting absolutely cooked trending. This guy is vile. This guy is the biggest problem on the fucking internet. And it's not because he's woke and he's this and that. You're, you have no empathy for human life. You go and you get clowned on exactly on Piers Morgan. You are inhuman. You are somebody who seems almost gleeful that a young firefighter with a family, with a wife and children, who he was protecting as he was shot dead, that he deserved what was coming to him because he went to a President Trump rally a man who was president of the United States until recently for four years and maybe again. You sound almost gleeful, Destin, and I'm sorry. He did sound gleeful. That's the problem. This guy has no humanity. He's definitely like what Pierce said. He's inhumane. That makes you, frankly, despicable. I don't think I'm gleeful about anything. I you don't are. think anybody should die. I don't think anybody deserves to die. But you want to talk about gleeful? Look at the conservative response to Pelosi's husband no, no. when they broke in. I there can answer that. Mainstream media I can answer that. that. I don't it's care. always goalpost moving. Had nothing to do with the Trump assassination plot. I'm going to watch this later. I might even do a video about this. But I am just so glad he got his ass handed to him. And he's in the hot seat, guys. What do you guys think down below? This guy has aberrant behavior. And, I, and I'm not for deplatforming, but when you go to the extent and the lows to wish death on people just because they're conservative or to mock the death of a firefighter who is shielding his family, you're a piece of shit in my book.